we managed to connect this beautiful land of Nepal to the world through our flights. Both the nations have collectively struggled to revive our tourism industries from sinking and depleted human resources from disappearing. This year, have witnessed only 12,268 visitors in total. Amaru Sri Lankan Airlines ko business class ek dhamai atya dhamai dhamgali banayi ko sa. Ma pani recently ne recently travel kare hoti Sri Lankan Airlines ko business class ma ek dhar Nepali ko aite nero aite ko dhamai dham dere aite ho. Tis ma tis tis ma pani ma easily aram dalay chali aram dalay atya karo sakhi. Ami Nepal Sri Lankan Airlines Nepal ma. अवतरण करने को दो ही वर्ष पूरा होते कर रहा खाना को बारे में पहले सम्मा इकोनॉमी और बिजनेस क्लास दो ही दो ही को पहले सम्मा ये वोट अपनी गुनासा आए का सहेलो। When you see Nepal and Sri Lanka, we are like, I would say rather the brother twins. Sri Lanka Airline establishing its direct air connectivity between Colombo and Kathmandu. It is a it is a great honor to witness this. A remarkable event. Welcoming all who travel between Colombo and Kathmandu. And with my only wish that may skies always be friendly. And Sri Lankan Airline has always been committed to provide services to promote tourism, trade, culture, and health and other things. For the second year anniversary celebration of Sri Lankan Airlines operation to Kathmandu and the agency felicitation ceremony. <coughs> well, today is a special day for us. Even we not only mark just another presence of another year, and we specially express our heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to our valued, all our valued customers and our industry partners and well-wishers who has made this journey possible. <laughs> so, when we open our doors, especially during the pandemic, we embark with a mission to operate our repatriation flights. However, moving forward, we manage to connect this beautiful land of Nepal to the world through our flights. It is a great pleasure to have a, this kind of experience and past two years, it is a great learn of journey and growth and a collaboration. And our Nepal office has become just more than an airline branch. It has become a vibrant part of Nepal aviation industry. So, once again, a heartfelt welcome to all of you and I hope each one of you will enjoy this wonderful evening. Thank you so much. Daniwa. Thank you so much, sir, for your wonderful speech. Ladies and gentlemen, actually, I am very honoured and privileged to participate in this important program organized to mark the second anniversary of Sri Lankan Airline of Airlines operation of flight in Colombo Kathmandu Colombo sector. Congratulations to Sri Lankan Airlines on successfully navigating through this strenuous journey of two years. The year that witnessed the aftershock of COVID-19 pandemic and sprawled over multiple arenas from personal health to financial health of the nation like Nepal and Sri Lanka. Both the nations have collectively struggled to revive our tourism industries from sinking and depleted human resources from disappearing. Now both Nepal and Sri Lanka are back on track in our tourism activities thanks to the effort of the government and tourism entrepreneurs from both the nations. Sri Lanka has always been our important source market due to a large number of Buddhist followers and recently, a young segment of people from Sri Lanka come to Nepal for adventure and leisure activities as well. In year 2019, a total of 56,313 Sri Lankan tourists visited Nepal, while the last eight, in last eight months this year, 
have witnessed only 12,268 visitors in total. This trend shows an indication that we need to work much harder to reach the pre-pandemic situation. For this, Sri Lankan Airlines has a key role to play. Tour operators and travel agents from both the nations need to work hand in glove to achieve the desired result. As Sri Lankan economy has almost bounced back and a large number of Buddhist followers have not come out of many years in their pilgrimage, it is a high time that they can think of Nepal as their destination. According to Buddhist scriptures, it is said the Buddhist follower must start his her journey from the birthplace of Lord Buddha and end the journey at the place where the Buddha has Mahapari Nirvana. Thank you, Dilna. Namaste. I won. Good evening. Bonze Azurla, you, Sri Lankan Airlines go in flight service ma, or in business class, the economic class of Arima, the key briefing on the very good. Amro Sri Lankan Airlines go business class, Ekame, Athea, the Nikanga, 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 the this is the first time I have to do this. 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 तो इजो मात्रे हमरो ये उड़ा ग्रुप आकर दिख चलो दूसरे को बेहतर जान बाती और उन अम्मे दूसरे को तो जाना जाती दूसरे को फ्लाई सिलंगर एलाइंस देश वाली सिलंगर में मैच है ना तो लाइस फॉल्गर आएगा सर देश में अपने इजो आओगे कि एक जाना हमरो प्रारूप आने को साथ ले हमरो रोहित पौड़ेला � वाले एकदम ही सारे चलो रामरो काम करने वाले हैं रो वाले बनोगे कि इकोनॉमी क्लास में एकदम ही खाना से नेपाली स्वाद में तो वह ना पाऊं तो रहेसा है ना मैं इकोनॉमी क्लास में ट्रैवल करी बनो बनो वह वाले एकदम जोरदार ताली देकर स्वाद करो आप ने जिसको क्रिकेट टीम को कैप्टन लाए � ये वड़ा पनी कुनासा आया कुछ ऐसा खाना को लागी हमरो और कुछ मौत बोलना सर सर को बारे में हमने जरी सिलंगर के पाइंट्स को अजरोले जैसे कि हम लाइन से कि गोल्ड वो लिस्ट फीस और कैसे गोल्ड पाउंड होने सर इस पर सी बैगेज फोर्टी एट आउट होना अगर ये बैगेज तीनों होने हम जरी स्काउंट मंगाएंगे � सिलंगर एयरलाइंस को ये रोयल्टी प्रोग्राम अंतर्गत फ्लाइट्स में बने हमारे वहाँ से मेंबरशिप सर किस मासे हैं हमारे चारों ना कैटेगरी सर ब्लू क्लासिक गोल्ड प्लेटिनम तो इसको ये बारे रहा यूज़ करने का आदर्श ले एक्स्ट्रा बैगेज बिजनेस क्लास अपग्रेड तो नीति परिवर्तन करना सागनुन ज़्यादा � I would like to invite Regional Manager to Nepal, Bangladesh and India, Mr. V. Ravindran, for his speech. I am on a bus from Sri Lanka, head of worldwide sales for Sri Lankan Airlines, and distinguished guest, and none other than Joy, and the rest of the colleagues. Suswata. We have started with Joy three decades ago. What I meant by Joy is, Joy Diva. So, after two years of successful operation, it gives me a great joy to stand here and to address you. And the entire team of Nepal, headed by Nidina and with the support of Joy Diva and the rest of the team, this is a big round of applause. When you see Nepal and Sri Lanka, we are like, I would say rather the brother twins that has been emphasized and it has been certified by Joy Divan again when we had a chat in the afternoon. Because Sri Lanka also has two big brothers, 
that is India and China to help. Same way, Nepal also have two big brothers to help them every time that they are in trouble. So we are in terms that you know we are similar. So we can help each other. And last Asia Cup, when that Nepal scored 230 runs, I was on the skies because even a nation which was you know, just entered into the cricket arena and scoring World Cup champions, T20 champions, 230 is not an easy thing. And for that, this nation is difficult to be proud of. And if you take the SAAC countries, I, Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan, Nepal, Bhutan, and Bangladesh. Nepal is not a, 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 a stranger to Sri Lanka. We are connected in many ways, especially through our religion and culture. And if you ask any Sri Lankan, when they just perform their pilgrim tours, they visit Lumbini and go. Though that they don't mention as Nepal, I think in their pilgrims, both Gaya and Nepal plays a bigger role. So, in terms of tourism, Sri Lanka can support Nepal and we need bigger support from Nepal to Sri Lanka. I've seen the tourist arrivals, it was in three digits. I'm sure that this country has more potential to tourism to Sri Lanka. At least we'll start to make it four digits from the time now on. Nina was asking that uh, was why don't we just increase to uh, daily price out of this destination. I said it is in your hand and this trade that who can do make it daily price and this is a good forum and I'll make sure because our head of world bank says is there if he commits something now that he can't take his word back. So make sure that you will support and you will ask for the daily patch from today so that you know he will come to the sky. So I don't want to just to make most of your time and making it boring. And when I came the second time, I didn't have a feeling like that I'm coming to a, you know, a new country or you know, second time. I feel like that I'm in, at home and I enjoy this momos. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know that Nil has just you know, given me some other uh, uh, typical drink out of Nepal with uh, hot lemon with honey. Uh, those two drinks I will never forget uh, once I leave this country. So once again, thank you very much and we will make it this destination a successful show with the Sri Lankan Airlines and we have celebrated the second year. We will make sure that we will celebrate many more anniversaries from this land. Thank you. I should also take this opportunity 
to acknowledge our former ambassador, Her Excellency Himali Arunatilaka, for her utmost effort to establish this era connection ever since she started working here. I also participated at some meetings with her with Nepali government officials. Finally, it happened. Now we are celebrating its second anniversary. Since its start, Sri Lankan Airlines has been committed to providing passengers with external services, comfort and convenience, as you watched a little while ago. I must say that Sri Lankan Airlines is a reflection of the reflection of the warm hospitality of our Sri Lankan nation. No one can argue on that. With the introduction of flights between Colombo and Kathmandu, the airline paved the way for enhanced connectivity and significantly strengthened the bilateral relations between our two countries. Establishing this era route has opened up countless trade, tourism, cultural exchange opportunities between our nations. It has brought us closer together, fostering cooperation and understanding. The ease of travel has allowed more people to explore, experience, enrich heritage, vibrant culture, and breathtaking natural beauty which offered both nations. As we celebrate this second anniversary, let us acknowledge the dedication and hard work of everyone involved in making this flight route a success. Our GSA, our Sri Lankan team in Kathmandu, uh, pilots, crew members, uh, ground staff, the uh, Bali Airline ground staff, and other have played a vital role in ensuring seamless travel experience and safe journeys for our passengers. I should also acknowledge the officials of both countries, especially in the ministries of foreign affairs and civil aviation of both countries for their support rendered at the initial stages. Without this, uh, com this commitment of all these people, uh, this air connectivity between our two countries would be a dream forever. Looking towards the future, let us aspire to a continued building on this solid foundation of connectivity. Through collaboration and innovation, we can explore new possibilities and further enhance our ties between our nations. Challenges will come, but I hope we can, we have strategies to face those challenges and overcome barriers. We can continue strengthening the friendship and cooperation bond established through these flights. On this joyous occasion, I extend again my heartfelt congratulations to Sri Lankan Airline. I also express my gratitude to all our esteemed passengers, you know, without passengers, any airline can't uh, success. Uh, passengers for their continued trust and support. As we embark on this journey together, let us embrace the opportunities ahead and continue to enhance it to greater heights. I'm not going to talk too much. Uh, as this is not a time for it. I will stop now welcoming all who travel between Colombo and Kathmandu and with my only wish that may skies always be friendly connecting our nations. Thank you, Danibad, good night. Now, I would like to invite the Sir Dilatu Tenakul, Head of Worldwide Sales, for his speech. Two years ago, we started our operation into Kathmandu. Of course, we wanted to start this operation from a very long time. Immediately after COVID, of course, certain countries at that time, even not fully open at that time, we saw there was an opportunity. 
immediately we capitalized on that and we started our operation. It was only with three frequencies. Thanks to all your support and joy, thank you. All the support. Now we operate five frequencies. But I think that's not enough. What you all said is absolutely right. This is my first visit to Nepal. I think there are a lot of potential between these two countries. You saw the videos and I'm sure most of you all must have been to Sri Lanka. You saw the things that we have to offer to all your guests. With all that, the beaches and wildlife and everything, you know that we have only received only 2,100 passengers during the last few months. I don't think that's enough. That's definitely not enough. It has to be 30, 40, 50,000. We can do that. And I'm sure we can do that. We have a very capable team here. And we are committed from our head office. We will support all of you. Dananjir, if there is anything from this into that end or from there to here, both ways we are committed. We will, as an airline partner, we will support you all. Let us have a huge round of applause for the winners, okay? Congratulations, sir. Our next winner is Da Vinci Travels and Tours. Requesting Mr. Joy to present the award. Now, for the vote of thanks, I would like to invite Mr. Joy Devan, Managing Director of the Group of Company, on the stage. Let us all thank you for the huge round of applause, everyone. Our second anniversary of online <coughs> service of Sri Lankan Air to Nepal. However, Sri Lankan Air has been maintaining its presence in Nepal and in the Nepalese market more than three decades, as mentioned by my bosses. Sri Lankan Air appointed General Travels Offline GSA. 30 years ago now, almost 32 years. Since then, Sri Lankan Airline has been maintaining its presence in the police market. And also as an offline carrier, it has justified the market share in terms of business as an offline carrier. And Sri Lankan Airline has always been committed to provide services to promote tourism, trade, culture, and, else, and other things. The children have remained offline for many, many years in Nepal. However, they were very supportive in terms of tourism. Also, our friends from Tourism fraternity. In the past, we tried very hard in order to promote tourism, trade, culture, and other things between the two nations. The two nations have tremendous potential, which you are aware of. But our effort was went in vain because of one reason: Sri Lanka was not accessible from Nepal then neither Nepal from Sri Lanka. So there was a huge gap in between. And when we had to travel to Sri Lanka, we had to travel via Indian points to Sri Lanka. So we had those difficulties. This is the main reason, actually, we were unable to promote tourism between the two nations. However, as I mentioned, there is a tremendous potential in terms of tourism maybe also in trade, which we need to explore. We started, commenced our flight two years back, but I still would like to apologize, apologize on behalf of Sri Lankan Air and General Travel because we were unable to 
focus on point-to-point -point traffic and promote holidays, tours, etc. due to a heavy demand on the long haul sectors on the network of Sri Lankan air. So, hello everyone. It is a So, I'm going to talk about some of the other history chips that we passed by the Kosovoi. It's my certain number. We will be drawing out the names. We will draw out the lucky numbers, not names. I'm the lucky numbers. I draw out the person. And just the zip down, so. While it's a Kathmandu Kolumbu Kathmandu business class for a round trip to the Sognonsa, and also we have two more gifts. Junmatsa Wale, two round trip to get a round trip for economic class to Sognonsa.